In this video, we are going to talk about how to evaluate limits of a rational functions. So what is the limit of square root of x minus 2 all over x minus 4 as x approaches 4? Since we can factor the given expression, and if we substitute the value of x, we will end up with 0 over 0 or indeterminate. So what are we going to do in order for us to simplify the given expression? Since we have limit of x approaches 4 of square root of x minus 2 all over x minus 4, let us multiply with this one by the conjugate of square root of x plus 2. And then we have limit of x approaches 4. So whenever you multiply conjugate, you are going to multiply the first term to first term and last term to last term. Square root of x times square root of x, that is square root of x squared. And the square root of x squared is x. And then negative 2 multiplied by positive 2, that is negative 4. Then, let's write x minus 4 multiplied by square root of x plus 2. So we can cancel this one. And we have limit of 1 over square root of x plus 2 as x approaches 4. So this time, we can substitute directly the value of x. So we have 1 over square root of x, that will be square root of 4 plus 2. And the square root of 4 will be 2 plus 2. And our answer is 1 over 4. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, what is the limit of square root of x plus 2 minus square root of 2 all over x as x approaches 0? Since we can factor the given expression, and if we substitute the value of x, we are going to have 0 over 0. So what are we going to do to simplify the given expression? Since we have limit of x approaches 0 of square root of x, plus 2 minus square root of 2 all over x. Let us multiply by the conjugate of square root of x plus 2 minus square root of 2 by square root of x plus 2 plus square root of 2. And let's write this one on the denominator that is square root of x plus 2 plus square root of 2. And let's have limit of x approaches 0 let's multiply the first term to first term and last term to last term. Square root of x plus 2 multiplied by square root of x plus 2. Let us just simply cancel the radical sign. That is x plus 2. And negative times positive is negative. Square root of 2 times square root of 2. That is square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. And then let's have x multiplied by square root of x plus 2, plus square root of 2. So we can cancel this one. And let's have limit of x over x times square root of x plus 2, plus square root of 2 as x approaches 0. So let's cancel x. And we have limit of x approaches 0. That is 1 over square root of x plus 2 plus square root of 2. So this time, let us substitute the value of x, which is 0, and that is 1 over square root of 0 plus 2 plus square root of 2. And then, we have 1 over square root of 0 plus 2, that is square root of 2 plus square root of and then we have 1 over 1 square root of 2 plus 1 square root of 2. That will be 2 square root of 2. And then let us rationalize to eliminate the radical sign on the denominator by multiplying square root of 2 on the numerator and denominator. So we have 1 times square root of 2. That is square root of 2. And let's write 2. And then square root of 2 times square root of 2. 
that is square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So our final answer is square root of 2 over 2 times 2 is 4, and this will be our answer. On example number 3, what is the limit of 1 over x minus 1 over 3 all over x minus 3 as x approaches 3? If we are going to substitute directly the value of x, we are going to have 0 over 0. So how can we simplify the given expression? So let's have limit as x approaches 3. And let us find the LCM of x and 3. That is 3x. And then let's do some cross multiplication. 3 multiplied by 1, that is 3. And then x multiplied by negative 1, that is negative x. And let's write x minus 3. Then, to simplify, let's have limit as x approaches 3. Let us multiply 3x and x minus 3. So let's have 3 minus x over 3x multiplied by x minus 3. And let us rewrite 3 minus x in the form of x minus 3. If we are going to have 3 minus x, it is same as negative 1 times x minus 3. So let's have limit as x approaches 3. 3 minus x is same as negative 1 times x minus 3. If you are going to multiply negative 1 by x minus 3, you are going to have 3 minus x. And let's have 3x multiplied by x minus 3. So let us cancel x minus 3. And we have limit of x approaches 3. That is negative 1 over 3x. So this time, let us substitute the value of x, which is 3. That is negative 1 over 3 times 3. And then, to simplify, negative 1 over 3 times 3 is 9. And this would be our answer. On our last example, what is the limit of 1 over x plus 2 minus 1 half all over x as x approaches 0? If we substitute the value of x, we are going to have 0 over 0. So to simplify the given expression, Let's have limit as x approaches 0. Let us find the LCM of 2 and x plus 2. And that is 2 times x plus 2. And let's multiply 2 times 1. That is 2. And then negative 1 multiplied by x minus 2. That is negative quantity of x plus 2. And then let's write x. And then... Let us have limit of x approaches 0. Let us write 2 minus the quantity of x plus 2. And let's multiply 2 times x plus 2 by x. So let's have 2 times x plus 2 multiplied by x. And then to simplify our answer, let's have limit of x approaches 0. Let us distribute the negative sign inside the parenthesis. And let's have 2 minus x minus 2 all over 2 times x plus 2 times x. 2 minus 2, that is 0. So let us cancel this one. And we have limit of x approaches 0, that is negative x over 2 times x plus 2 multiplied by x. So let us cancel x and we have limit as x approaches 0 is negative 1 over 2 times x plus 2. So this time we can substitute the value of x and that is negative 1 over 2 times 0 plus Let's have negative 1 over 2. 0 plus 2, that is 2. So our final answer is negative 1 
over 2 times 2 is 4. So this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.